Hi guys. Hey. I was wondering if you were gonna say something. <laughs> this is Jay Van Diesel and Apizzle Ninety doing the rewind for you guys here today on the eleventh of April in what year? Two thousand eleven. Bingo. Um I don't know, should we do Thank you. I said it once. I'm gonna say it multiple times. I said it on the first show too. We're going to hell. Yeah. We really are. We just yeah yeah. We don't know where, but it's a matter of time. But we're going to hell at this, yeah. at this point. Yep. Um, a lot of stuff to talk about in the show. Lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, we're gonna start with WrestleMania. Which was this past uh, Sunday. That was yesterday. Yesterday was the past Sunday. It'd be a week from yesterday. Uh, last, last, last Sunday. Yeah, Georgia. That'll be the Georgia next. Rocking. Yeah, that'll be the next movie. By the way, last, last Sunday. That'll be the la uh, next movie coming out. But yeah, the Georgia Dome was rocking. Over seventy-one thousand plus filled that arena right now, and The Rock came out for the first fifteen minutes of the show. Pretty much hogged the spotlight like The Rock does, but that's still pretty good. Yeah, and then babbled on, but. Yep. <laughs> but in the end, the first match after that was. For the world title, for the world heavyweight title, uh, exactly. Uh, it did. Well, it surprised me because I never thought I would see it that way. Yeah, especially first. Uh, but I know they've done that for the Royal Rumble. You know. Yeah, I, I thought they were the main event. The Royal, the winner of the Royal Rumble's main event WrestleMania. Surprisingly. Started. Surprisingly. Yeah. You, you know, you know how bad they. Everyone at home was probably watching this and going, "Yeah, that's." Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Yeah, me and my, uh, me and my friend Bill were, like, scratching our heads, like, what? Is this really going on first? But you notice who called the, who called the, uh, who announced when they were coming to the ring? It was, uh, yeah, Dennis Robert. It was not Tony Chimmel. Yeah, it was, not it Tony was, Chimmel, it was not Tony Chimmel. It was Ricardo Rodriguez or Beefy... Yeah. Or Beefy Gordita, as I call them. Beefy Gordita. Jacinto Cavell. Taquito. Olay. And Alberto Doria. And um, I find it funny, though. Because Justin Roberts knows how to say it. And Tony Chimmel can't hit puberty when he goes superstar. That's still yeah. funny. I don't know, because I told, I told Edge, and Edge started laughing. I told him that on Facebook, and he was cracking up. Um, but yeah, out of everything else, though, that match was pretty awesome. It was pretty heavy. I mean, Christian was there to help out Edge. He was in his corner. So was Brodus Clay. Because Brodus Clay was in Alberto Del Rio's corner. Yeah. But think about it. Brutus Clay is Alberto Del Rio's bodyguard? well bodyguard, but I believe he was also his rookie on NXT. Yeah, that's true. So that's why uh, that worked out. Yeah. Okay. Just fit right into place. Dude, him fitting in the dude, him fitting him fitting in the place. It's like a stupid guy trying to fit into a smart guy convention. It ain't happening. <laughs> it's like trying to fit a round piece of wood into a square hole. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen. I don't know. I, come on, that dude is more fat. He tips the scales at to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we've done it before. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah, that was a good match, though. I mean, hey. Um, and, of course, Alberto's loss transpired into something that happened on Friday, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, Snooki, though. Snooki, Trish, and Morrison versus Laycool and Ziggler. The guy thinks he's perfection. The two other two think they're flawless. I think they're all full of flaws, and that guy can't get an erection. See, this is how bad I bash on people from WWE. I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. Yeah, I think that is just you, because I think uh, Lay Cool is 
Yeah, too bad trying to do it with Michelle. It ain't gonna happen. Come on, dude. He's she's got the phenom. Yep. Yes, Michelle McCool is dating Undertaker. Married to the Undertaker. I'm married to the Undertaker. Uh, and Layla can't hold a British accent to save her own life. Anyway. Yep. Those two were all six of those guys were involved in a six person mixed tag at WrestleMania with Snooky, Morrison, and Stratus, uh, the winners of the match. I was just team six. Yeah. Or as you put it. That one day, Team Brunette. Team Brunette, because they are Brunette. Yes. And, uh. Brunette and Snooky's still Cuban, so. Yeah. I'm so going to hell for this, guys. I really am. Um. But no, that match was actually pretty good. I like, uh. What Snooky did. The whole. Yeah, the back spring elbow. The cartwheel into the backflip elbow to McCool. Obviously, yeah. McCool, obviously, the girth of Snooky brought McCool down, and all she had to do was a version of Rolling Thunder, which I called the Snooky Splash. Yeah, and did you ever notice about this, by the way? When Vicky Guerrero screams, she kind of almost breaks the sound barrier. Yeah. I could have sworn she broke my friend's pair of glasses a couple days ago. Dude, she went 16 spots on the ugly scale, okay? Yeah. Uh, actually, well, to, to bash on Vicky one more time, for all the jokes that were said to her on Raw, I don't know if you guys have seen the most epic rap battle of history that was just released, which was Albert Einstein versus Stephen Hawking. No, I haven't seen it. Hawking put down there are 10 million, 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 million molecules in the universe that we must explore. Your mama took the ugly ones and put them into one nerd. Well, see, there are 10 million, 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 million molecules in the universe, which we would try to explore if they weren't so many. We took the really ugly and crappy ones and put them into one, one person named Vicky Guerrero. Wow. No offense to Eddie up there. No offense, because of Eddie up there. Yeah. Um, I, I think that was the worst idea, trying to turn her into a heel. That's, you know. Yeah, it's, um, kind of brutal. <laughs> That's funny, though. What can I say? Yeah, it's <laughs> Nevertheless, yeah. Moving right along. Um, yeah. That was, that's match of the year. By far. By far. Those guys are up. Huh? More, I think it was more than 30 minutes. I think it was, must have been more than 30 minutes. And they just two beat the living crap out of each other and destroyed the most... Yeah, but he was still breathing. He actually might have been... Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because he rolled out the ring and sat up on the ring apron and the next thing you know he tried to go under the uh, floor and didn't work out. The funniest parts were they destroyed Michael Cole's most prized possession, that little plastic box he calls home. Oh More like the shit mine, but moving on. Yeah. And Triple H doing Undertaker's tombstone pile driver and that Taker was, kicking out. That was awesome. That was freaking amazing. That was amazing. Somehow Taker pulled it, and somehow Taker pulled it off. Like I, you know, I was thinking, wow, they actually might have the story where he broke the streak. Three pedigrees and a tombstone. And he still didn't. He still didn't leave the job. And that was no holds barred. He was going to use a sledgehammer too. Yeah. But Taker caught him in the uh, in the Hell's Gate the Triangle Chokehold. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. 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 That was Definitely. Um, CM Punk versus Randy Orton. I'm, I'm pissed. You're pissed, but I'm extremely happy. I'm pissed on this one. But did you see how it ended? Yes. Punk was going off the top rope, and then... It's out. It's over. 
He hit him with an RKO from the top rope. I'm like, damn. I was going to do a Joey Styles. I was going to be like, oh, my God. Thank you. He does it better than I do. My friend Kyle does it better than I do. That's the scary part. Uh, of course, I met Joey Styles, and it was awesome. Yeah, okay, right. I didn't see ECW until I moved to New York for about six years. Um, I was like, I could have been there, damn it, there! <laughs> but, you know, that was still amazing, that match. Um, the, uh, the RK out of nowhere, man. That's what. See, he's he's able to strike at any, any given time. Any time. Any time. The uh, Michael Cole match too. That was the best. Oh. That was the best match for comedic value. But for wrestling fans, it was boring as hell. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter what the GM says. Okay. I'm giving us both credit for this. We both picked Jerry Lawler. Jerry Lawler did win the match. And what the GM said was Austin overstepped his boundaries as a referee. He did not. Okay? Swagger was not going to be allowed to throw in the towel. Austin wouldn't let it happen. Austin, well, and Austin also had his hands laid on by both him and Cole. He deserved what, Cole and Swagger both deserved what came to him. And then, and then a spinner Rooney, uh, but yeah, and then a spinner Rooney into a stone, which was hysterically funny. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> I gotta be all right, cool. Oh, what the hell? Get over here, get over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. And then Josh Matthews chimes in with what the GM says, and he gets nailed. Oh, God. I think that, that also came a little bit. Yeah, that also, yeah, definitely. Of course, JR was there, so it was all good. Yeah. It was all good. Um, that match, yeah, of, sure. but yeah, it was a little bit boring. Uh, except, of course, seeing Michael Cole get his ass kicked. That was amazing. That was awesome. And I don't know if you heard what he said on Monday night. He said, uh, I want to know, you know, maybe next year I'll fight The Undertaker. I really want to see him fight The Undertaker ju just to get his ass kicked. Just to get his ass kicked. Um, the Miz and Cena. Wow. I, I would have said I, I would have said I was pissed, but I kind of figured out the screw job was gonna come. Yep. The match, the original yep. part of the match. Good. Yeah. Uh, the original part of the match ended in a draw. But double count out, both superstars couldn't make it into the ring. The Rock comes out and says, no, this is a no DQ, no count out. I think he said false count. Yeah, no, he, he just said no DQ. Oh, no, yeah, no DQ, no count out. Um, you know, and in, in a no DQ match, anything goes. Cena went for the attitude adjustment. Yeah. didn't work. He turned around and got rock bottomed. It was no uh, if, ands, or buts. It was pretty cool. It was even funnier when The Rock and The Miz ended up fighting in the ring. Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, but, you know, all this transpiring into Monday Night Raw, Michael Cole still, think, still thinks he's all that in a bag of chips, which he really isn't. And he poured barbecue sauce yeah. on JR, which is complete disrespect. Now... Yeah, now, I like Raw, but if it's going to keep being him being the biggest dickwad of them all, I'm going to stop watching. Yeah, yeah, I can stand one idiot, and that be, of course, being The Miz, but if you're just putting Michael Cole in that position, you really don't, you know, seem to impress me. I have to keep muting the TV, and I miss most of the good stuff that was actually said. By, you know, let's say John Cena or um, Randy Orton or Triple H. Well, you know, you can always just mute the TV and have your, have your own commentary. I've done that so many times and it's been so much fun. Awesome. 
It's been way too much fun. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to lay off everything, buddy. One word for you, buddy. Decaf. By the way, I'm playing with a little chain that I found um, that used to go to my wallet. Uh, but, you know, moving on to all that, a match was already made up for next year's WrestleMania, and that would be The Rock versus John Cena. I'm, gonna be there. I'm hoping to get enough money to save up to go ahead and hang with you for that day. Um, the date of WrestleMania 28 will be April 1st, 2012. No. It's not, but it's very, very funny. Uh, in Miami, Florida, at the old site of the Orange Bowl. So I'm pretty, uh, pretty... The, uh, the, uh, what? Miami Dolphins. They're actually going to do it at Dolphin Stadium? Yeah. Okay. Shock. Um. Oh. I didn't know that. I can't even get with what even what day it is today. <laughs> no, um, what happened? I can okay, thank you. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, finding all that out was really awesome. I like the idea, I like the concept they put into that. Yeah, anticipation game going on. Um, the one thing I did miss was SmackDown. Yeah. Except for one match, and that one match was Christian versus Alberto Del Rio for the number one contendership May first at Extreme Rules. In Tampa. In Tampa. And are you going to be able to go to that? I am not. I have finals that week. Ooh. Uh, yeah, but extre at Extreme Rules, it will be Alberto Del Rio for against Edge for the title. Um, Edge yeah. did a spear to Brutus Clay, but of course that distraction caused a an amazing kick. I gotta admit, it was a great kick. Christian was on the top, hoping to seal the deal. Just didn't work. Uh, Hello. You know. Um, overall, though... You know, is there anything else uh, that happened on uh, SmackDown that you want to mention? Uh, they did a rematch with the whole little uh, core and the eight-man tag they had at WrestleMania. And uh, I think they lost that. I don't know. Ah. Uh, Alright, well, uh, let's do this. Let's cut it off for this part. Because it's 18 okay. minutes. Wow. <laughs> They're going to kill me on YouTube. We'll, we'll, just, we'll see you guys for part two.